Okay, in the last video, we added a sensitivity option. We added the loop that was forever checking and seeing if the object, in this case, the sprite, was touching a particular color. And if it was, then it was sending the object back to the start and briefly displaying an oops message. Now, what we want to do at the moment is we want to add in some lives because I can do this infinitely with no... Uh, no problem. So to do this, we need to add in a couple of different bits. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new variable. Now, a variable is something that can change during the game. So the variable we're going to produce here is going to be called lives. So I'm going to variables, I'm going to click on make a variable, and I'm going to call it lives. I want this only to affect this sprite. It's unlikely we're going to add another sprite that's got lives, but if we do, we want it to have separate lives. So this is lives, and this is for this sprite only, and we press OK. You'll see now it says the enormous crocodile lives are zero, which isn't what we want. So while we're in here, we want to set lives. You'll see I'm putting this under this first green flag that's got our starting point and our original costume, and I'm going to choose three. You can set that to whatever you want but some score that can potentially run out. At the bottom here, we've already got an action that happens when it's touching the red color. So it's sent back to the beginning. It says, oops. As part of that, we also want to change lives, but not by one. Watch what happens if I do that. The crocodile goes into the red. And this number of lives goes up. So that's definitely not what we want. So we want to change lives by minus one and then if i press on the green flag and play again my sprite in this case my crocodile goes along i touch the red he goes back and a second later the score goes down if i want to make that score go down a bit faster if i change lives to before the message it won't wait for that delay press again straight away this time now that's good but i can keep going i can keep going and I can keep going. And when it eventually runs out of lives, it just continues to go. So that's not excellent. We want to make another change to deal with that. We need it to sense when the number of lives has reached zero, and then an action needs to happen. So again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go back to events. We're going to go back to when the green flag is clicked. We're going to go back into the forever loop here. So we want a new forever loop. And this time, we want to know if, and we need to use the operators. So when the green flags, forever it's checking if, and we want to look at lives. So we want the lives, if the lives get below one, so below one would be zero. So we go back into the variables to find lives, and we can pull that into that block. So when the green flag, it's clicked forever, check if the lives are less than one, then, well, we want an action to happen. And the easiest action to happen at this point is just to make the crocodile disappear. So we go to looks and we just go to hide. Okay, we press on the green flag to play. We tried to navigate the maze. Oh no, I lost a life. Very carelessly lost a second life lost the third life and the crocodile disappears. Now that's great, but there's a problem. So press on the red flag, red stop button, press on the green flag again. It doesn't reappear because nowhere in our program have we told it that it should show. So we need to go back to the green bit here. We need to go back into the looks, find the show button or show block and pull that under the uh, green flag. So this time when we press green flag, crocodile reappears. Lives are set back to three. The position's correct, and if I navigate very unsuccessfully, find the lives go to zero, the game ends, but I can easily restart it. And that's about as far as we're going with that today.